Amanda's Corner. Welcome. Today I am sharing a Pilates mat exercise called single leg circle. So I like to use knee circles to build up to this mat exercise. And I'll give you just a really quick reminder and demonstration of what knee circles looks like. And then I will go ahead and share with you single leg circle. So let's get started. We're gonna come down onto the mat, rolling through the spine. We're gonna come into a hook line position, which means we're lying on the back, and then we've got the knees bent and the feet flat into the mat. You wanna find your neutral pelvic alignment, so you've got some space underneath the low spine, and you're really flat on top. So for knee circles, you simply bring the leg up to a 90 degree angle so that you've got the thigh up and down, and you're gonna pretend that the knee is a paintbrush or a pencil, and you slowly start to draw circles on the ceiling. As you do this, you're not allowing the pelvis to move or wiggle or rock at all. So you take a full breath with each circle, and I like to do five each direction. And of course, the bigger the circle you make, you've got a little bit more challenge for the leg and a little bit more work for your core. So single leg circle is the same principle of knee circles, except we're gonna start to extend the leg. And, and it doesn't have to go to a full up position right away. So once this is feeling really easy, you're very comfortable with your knee circles, it's not feeling like much work for you anymore, you can begin to lengthen the leg. So it may just be that it's a long parallel leg with a soft knee, and in time it's gonna to go to a full straight leg where you're activating your quadricep like you're lifting up the kneecap and you've got work here. So you might have a long leg. And when you can get to that point, you're gonna place a little bit of a turnout in that leg. So I've got kind of a, a bit of a V shape, a little bit of external rotation. So this would be another place where you could start drawing your circles from. Now I'm reaching through the ball of the foot. You can also do this from the full point so that the toes become your paintbrush. So either the ball of the foot or the toes are drawing circles. Smaller the circle, the easier this will be. Another way to increase your challenge, so to come into our full position, is to take your opposite leg and take it long. I like to slide it over so that it's in midline, in line with your nose and your pubic bone. So you've it helps kind of ground you. You keep this leg active, you keep this leg active, a little bit of turnout, and then you begin crossing the body with an inhale and you exhale to complete. So it's still the same idea that you've got your tummy drawn in, you've got your neutral posi position for your pelvis, and you're not wiggling and moving at all through the pelvis. So you try five one way and then you reverse it. Inhaling and then exhaling. So they may be little bitty circles, that's fine. They may be bigger circles. It's just whatever size circle you can control by keeping the pelvis really still. So after you've done five each direction, I like to really activate this leg and then stretch it across the room like you're trying to slide it along the ceiling and then along the wall in front of you all the way down so that the transition becomes an exercise in itself. And then you would repeat the same to the other side. I have a big old boot on this side, so I'm not gonna demonstrate that side. That would add a lot of weight. That would be a lot of extra resistance. So it, it just takes a minute. You do five circles, one direction on one leg, switch, go five the other way, and then you do the other leg. So you've got 10 circles on each side. Um, although it's quick, you're not trying to rush through the exercise. You just wanna focus on keeping your core really still and stable. And like I showed you, there's so many different levels along that that you can continue to grow with that exercise. You can start with a knee circle, then begin to lengthen the leg, first in parallel. Once you get the leg nice and long and extended, then you add that turnout, and then you can also stretch the opposite leg down long against the ground. I can also kind of help counterbalance you and keep you grounded. And you want to find a posture where you can keep that neutral, and then you want to stay really steady as you perform this exercise. So I, I like to teach the knee circles and the single leg circle as one of um, the beginning mat exercises. That's one of the first ones I like to introduce to clients. And um, I, have, I have probably like seven to 10 exercises that I always like to um, introduce to clients to help them kind of get the basics and build that foundational strength and to learn what is, what's stabilizing, what's moving, just to kind of train your body in that Pilates manner. So I love to use this one. And um, if you have any questions or you, if you have suggestions or other variations that you like, you can feel free to email me at amandascorner at charter.net and corner is C-O-R-E-N-E-R. -E and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye.